the more things change, the more they stay the same. Six years ago, I had a chance to come to Iraq, and the highlight of my trip was the Alfal Palace behind me. And here we are again, my friends. So you can see how beautiful it is. One of the crown jewels of the late dictator Saddam Hussein's empire. If it looks familiar to you, eight years ago, or maybe it was seven, after the liberation of this great country, this is where all the network correspondents came to do their videos. Uh, it was, uh, you know, Anderson Cooper, Bill O'Reilly, all the stars of network and cable TV loved this shot. Why? Because it was secure. David Bloom, David Gregory. It was secure, and of course, it's visually stunning. We'll get a chance for limited access, access inside, but uh, words can't describe it. That's why we're here with the video. Uh, the beautiful Alfal Palace, and of course, uh, the man-made lakes, as you can see. Uh, truly, truly, when you think of the evil dictator Saddam Hussein and all he created is just um, breathtaking that it is all gone. And uh, to eclipse that, you have our great military that will be leaving after eight years. Eight years of blood and treasure and perhaps stability for the Iraqis. We're covering it today. The men and women of the United States Army and Navy and Air Force Marines who liberated this country. Hard to believe here, and you hear the birds chirping, that this will all be over. And of course, uh, so many people have served here and given so much. And of course, uh, the beauty of this, if we could take a look at the marble floor as well. Uh, Saddam never did anything halfway. And this was one of his prized collections. Of course, as we heard earlier, he was only here, maybe living for eight days. The majestic beauty of the outside only eclipsed by uh, what's on the inside. I can remember being here and I thought I would never be here again. And uh, just seeing this again, maybe it's my eyes are six years older or I have grown to appreciate the beauty uh, that is indescribable. The giant chandelier, of course, the ornate settings on the ceiling, uh, the American Iraqi flags, the beautiful pillars made of marble, uh, something that you'll never see probably anywhere again outside of some of these kingdoms where you have unlimited wealth. But remember, as beautiful as this palace was and is to this day, Saddam Hussein only stayed here eight days, if that. He had so many of these beautiful palaces. And you can imagine uh, the depravity of the Iraqi people. How many people actually could have had homes, modest homes, with the money that was spent here? But the sheer beauty of Alfal Palace is just something that, uh, well, I guess a video describes it much, much better than my words. What you're seeing here is the most famous throne or famous chair in Iraq or Baghdad. It was a gift from the late Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat to Saddam Hussein. And we'll briefly go over some of the symbolism of this chair or throne, call it what you will. Uh, we take a look at some of the, uh, some of the uh, well, symbols. You've got the Book of the Quran up here, which again, Muslims believe certainly directly from Allah to Muhammad, verbatim. Uh, other symbols on here, you've got, of course, Jerusalem is ours, the Dome of Jerusalem. In addition to that, you've got a pattern of Arab headscarf, al Ghetta, worn by Arafat right here. So even though you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, it doesn't make a lot of sense, you have all these symbols, the cross swords as always as well, so you, uh, again, this was just more than a throne. In addition to that, you have this big coffee pot, which use, was used by Arab tribes to pour a few drops of the thick espresso-style Arabic, uh, Arabic coffee into the tiny cups to the guests. And again, this is uh, the most famous chair in Iraq, probably in the Middle East, uh, because when it was left here, when US troops found it, uh, everybody has had their picture taken in it, and even I've had it uh, a few years ago. And so here we are, sitting down, and if you've ever had anybody serving in this country, certainly this is the look ma, I'm in Baghdad photo. So look ma, or at Camp Victory photo or video. Another great thing that the US military has done here is that we're seeing the Hall of Heroes. And here we have pictures, of course, and a memorial of all the Medal of Honor winners that have died here, given their life in the Iraqi theater. Uh, amazing when you think about it. And again, compare the contrast, my friends. On one hand, you have Alfal Palace with Saddam Hussein, and here you have the brave heroes, the Hall of Heroes. We will never forget, and certainly we will never forget. And their pictures are here to inspire and, of course, to let everybody know 
that uh, America has not forgotten their heroes.